since I'm really not consistent with my videos but in today's video is uh, get ready with me it's my day off and I just want to chit chat talk as well as getting ready and show you guys how I'll doll myself up so the reason why I decided to just like film today because why not I have like a week before school starts and I only have work but today's my day off and actually it's actually in a day off so um, yeah, I decided to do just uh, a video for you guys because it, I, I've been very busy with work and school and everything so um, I haven't had time to really like doll myself up and have like um, a play makeup day so yeah, today will be one of those days. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and wear my contacts and uh, take off my glasses. And then I'll get right back with you guys. I know this is you guys' first time seeing me with glasses on and <laughs> I don't like it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put on my contacts and I'll get right back with you guys. Alright? Okay, first things first, my face feels super, super dry right now. So I am going to moisturize my face. Um, I know this um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrated Primer is a primer, but it's very refreshing and it moisturizes my face and I feel like it's more like a moisturizer than a um, primer. Okay, so I have very dry uh, skin, dry, dry to normal skin. Sometimes normal, sometimes not. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, prime my face. A silk, soft silk pro hydrating primer. I actually... When I got myself a $32 one, I know I don't I didn't I never thought that I would buy a $32 uh, primer, but it's because it's that good. Um, it makes my makeup last the whole day, and I just love it. So I'm just gonna mix that with my Joa Blur Activator Mineral Primer. So I'm gonna mix these two just because I feel like gray skin is too dry, and I need this. And I know that I can count on this for my makeup to last the whole day. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. I use quite a lot, I know. Okay, now that I'm done with primer, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I always like to do my eyebrows first. Um, my face feels super prepped and, and hydrated right now. Because I am using the LA uh, Brow Pomade in the color Taupe. <laughs> And it looks like that, like a normal traditional uh, gel. And I love this thing because this thing is bomb. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. Um, I really need to. I really need to plug my eyebrows and trim it, but it's been very crazy lately. Um, I had a busy, busy break and. I'm always working, my schedule is crazy, and I'm still not ready for school. But yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side as well. I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hours camo, camo concealer in medium sand and honestly it says medium sand but it's super super light like I will put this if I were to name this shade it will be light because <laughs> it's that light so I'm just gonna conceal and clean 
up my eyebrow. That's how I do my eyebrows. Okay guys, um, when I do my uh, eyes, I like to prime it with um, a concealer. So I'm just gonna use the same concealer, the e.l.f. 16 Hours Camel Concealer. And I apply all that all over on top of my lid and prep it. There you go, this is how I like it. <clears throat> okay, so it's, it's nice and evened out. Now let's go into conceal uh, to uh, eyeshadow. I like to do my eye part first, then I'll do my face just because I have lots of fallout. I go back and forth a lot. Sorry, guys. Um, for eyeshadow, uh, I got this as a present from a friend. But yeah, I love this palette. I think it's so cute and it's perfect to carry around, and it's like a perfect everyday neutral eyeshadow palette. Like, look at it. Super nice, huh? And also has these bronzy color that I love, and I will be using it as well in today's video. New transition shade. I'm gonna go into the Nip Slip color. Why do they name that? Nips. I'm gonna use that as a transition shade to apply it on my crease. And by the way, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush that comes with all of her palette eyeshadow palettes. So. Yeah, I love it. I use it all the time. Extracurricular with the same brush. Extracurricular. It's like more like an orangey shade in there. And then apply that right on top of my transition shade. These shades are so weird. <laughs> Their name. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a uh, hot bod, hot bod. It's like a glittery shade, uh, glittery dark brown shade. I'm gonna put, uh, use this brush and apply that onto my uh, crease as well as this corner area over here. Alright, so next shade, I am going to use my finger. I don't know why, but I always like to use my finger in this part. I'm, I'm going to go with Teddy Bear, and I'm just going to use my finger and just like, curve it right on top of this dark shade that I use. And then just more focus on the corner right here. So it darkens. You see that? It's so much darker. I like to use my finger on this part. I feel that the color uh, comes out darker. That's what I go for and I like. It's very pretty. Nip slip and use that to blend the, the um, corners of the harsh lines that you guys can see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go in for this one. Draft. I'm going to go in, draft, and put it in the center of my eyes. I just use my finger because I feel like that's more effective. And the color just shows up more, like, vibrant and prettier. Oh my god. I really love ColourPop's uh, eyeshadow because they're so, like, affordable, yet they're so high quality. Like, I love it. I just hate that, like, I can't get it from store, you know. I know Ulta has it, but I live in a small town. So we don't have, like, an Ulta. We only have, like, a Sephora. And then um, for the inner part, I'm going to go into Keep It Be a PG. I like these things. These things are weird. I'm just going to use my finger and apply it at the inner corner of my eyes. go back and go with the shade hot bod hot bod again and then redo my uh, outer outer quarter of the crease with locked and loaded this is like a normal name locked and loaded and I'm just gonna apply that on my ravel 
And for eyeliner, I use this, uh, I only use this, I don't use any other eyeliner. So it's uh, Blacklist Black from L'Oreal. They're pretty much their pomade or their gel, the Blacklist Black. They only have that one. I use that one to line my eye and I love it just because it's, it lasts pretty long and um, it's very vibrant. curl my lashes first before mascara so I'm gonna uh, curl my um, lashes I, I've had these lash curl for like ever like ever since like middle school probably or in high school and I bought like three of these and only two made two made it uh, my scissor has one I have one I have one and I bought these from the flea market I believe they're only like two dollar it came with a eye plugger and uh, eyelash curler and I just love it. It's um, I use the Essence Lash Princess um, and I use a waterproof one, the blue one, because the wand is all tiny. That's like perfect for my lashes. My tiny lashes. Whoa. Okay, I went too crazy. I shouldn't have put that much, but it's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is, I usually use my uh, eBay lashes, these are uh, the one, the pink one, uh, honestly, uh, I'm pretty sure every one of them are the same, I'll link them down below, but eBay lashes all the way. So uh, I came across this Stila waterproof Lego liner and I like this too. Okay, so for face, uh, for uh, foundation, I like to mix these two uh, foundation lately and I'm just showing you guys what I've been doing lately. So uh, I use the Juvia Place um, foundation velvet matte foundation and this foundation is very very full coverage and I love it and uh, the L'Oreal Fallible 24 fresh wear um, I know guys I still have it um, I like to use this as a mixing foundation I think this is very perfect for mixing uh, your foundation so so uh, sorry my camera died so I just came back uh, I'm putting a different battery in it um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Wet n Wild uh, sponge and apply the foundation that I mixed onto my face, all over my face pretty much. Pretty self-explanatory. L16 Camel Concealer, the medium sand one, and this work, this works amazing, guys. I love it for the price. It's amazing. I just don't really like the shade. Like I cannot find my shade. This is a little too light. Okay, I'm done with my concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my powder, guys. So for powder, I like to use the Collab um, Translucent Finishing Powder. I have the black and white one too, but I feel like the, the white one is a little bit like lighter. And I like to have light, bright under eyes. So and I'm just going to put it under my eyes and let it set. I like to do that or I like to use the Collab Padding thing that comes with it, this thing, and I just for bronzing. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, Milani. This is my favorite one right now, Silky Matte in 03 Suntan, and I feel like it's like a high-end product because it's just so amazing, guys.
Okay, now for a blush, I use this um, this Essence Satin Touch Blush, and it's the color Ten Satin Coral. And yeah, I'm just gonna use like a fluffy brush. Um, I don't know where I got this brush, but it works good. Just kind of put it on my cheeks. Same goes to the other side. I'm trying to finish my face very fast. But the sun goes down. You guys can't really tell, but it's going down. The Becca Champagne Pop one, and I'm gonna use it. comes in this little baby thing, and I think it's so cute. And it's so perfect for me to carry around. And it also has a little mirror. How cute. And I'm just gonna play that all over. Okay, so I do apologize for all the different kind of lightings just because it's getting darker and it the sun is literally down so I have like no light natural lighting at all. Um, it's my fault. I should have filmed this like earlier, but it's fine. Um, I can just use my ring light off if you guys don't mind. Let me go with Sin Noodle. Sin Noodle is like a lighter shade and I'm just going to contour my nose with it. liner from LA Girl. It's called Sugar and Spice and I really love this shade. I wish there was like a um, uh, liquid lipstick with the same exact shade. Lips. I am going to be using the Wet n Wow Rose, the Rebel, Rebel Rose. I cannot talk today. I don't know why. And this is their liquid uh, cat suit, and I like this line a lot. I think the only downfall is like there's not that much coverage on the first layer, but as you build it up, it's it's pretty. I think it's so pretty, guys. I love this. I never tried these two combos, before, but I think it. it, it turn out well okay her girl easy breezy brow in the light 105 and honestly these things work amazing uh, it makes my eyebrow last the whole freaking day and I feel like everybody needs this in their life if you don't have one go get one was a journey looking for this but I just like to put like a yellow eyeshadow um I, I'm using the Rivera eyeshadow right now uh, I just like to put like a, a yellow eyeshadow and apply that on top of my eyebrows that way like you can see the tint of like yellow and it will match my blonde like the tint of yellow and it will match my hair because my eyebrow looks too dark right now and that's just a tip and trick that I, I do. I don't have to do this, I just I just do it. Okay, how can I forget my under eye, guys? I cannot believe my under eye. I just like to do my... Uh, under eye with my hands, um, my fingers. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade uh, Nip Sip. Nip Sip. I keep saying Nip Sip. Nip Slip. I'm gonna apply that under my eyes and smudge it under my eyes. All right, guys. And then for the inner part under my eyes, I'm gonna use the Keep It PG, the one that I used on the inner part of my eyes earlier. And just with my finger and then apply that under my inner corner of my eyes. Okay guys, I think I am done. Uh, I think the last step is to just set my face. I know this is a primer and I usually use this before and after anyways, but because my face feels very, very dry lately, 
and it's because of the winter, it's because it's been cold. Um, I love this to uh, make my face so like refreshing and I, I guess you could say like hydrate my skin. I'm just gonna use the, this is the Wet n Wild, I didn't even tell you guys what it is. It's, a, but it's the Wet n Wild Cucumber Photo Focus uh, Primer Spray and I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. Oh my god, it's so refreshing, guys, and I just love the smell. I have all of them. I have the rose, the I have I have the regular one, the matte one. Um, I have all of them, and this is so far my favorite, and it smells so amazing and refreshing, and I just love it. I want to use my set, right? So okay, so we have the uh, the transfer student orientation, and they gave us these fun little like fan thingy, and I just thought it was like so perfect to dry my face with it. Like I love it. Like it makes the process way faster especially when i wear glasses and i'm like i don't want to put my glasses on because it's still wet and this this part right here is going to show but this thing is has been very very helpful lately and i love it okay guys i think we are finally done um what do you guys think do you guys like this makeup look do you guys like to uh, watch me get ready um, If you guys do let me know comment down below. Uh, I'll do more videos like this But first I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair down because I do not like how I look right now So I'll put my hair down. I'll be right back with you guys. guys um, this is how the makeup look and if you guys like how this makeup look came out then go ahead and like this video uh, Follow me. I mean follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Do all this good stuff and I'll see you guys on the next video Bye guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it.